Hello, hello. My name's Alan Cox. Thanks for being here. And uh, please, say hello to Bill Squire. He's right over there. Hey, creepy hugs, everyone. Thanks for listening to and watching this episode of The Alan Cox Show. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share a cold one with the boys. Mary Santora is here, too. Hi, guys. No babies. The Mary Santora. One, one of a kind. One. Are you here tomorrow? I am not. I'm in Do. I don't know how to say the name. Do Dover, Delaware. No, D O A N E. Detroit, Are you in Michigan. I'm Are not... you in Dundalk, Maryland? I am in. I think it's Dwayne, Nebraska. Doan. D O A N E. Probably Doan. Doan, Nebraska. Probably Doan, Nebraska. Do we have bureau chiefs there? I don't think so. Doan, Nebraska. I have to do an hour. Turn it around. I have to do an hour of comedy. Well, is this at Doan University? Yeah. Well, uh, it's their student activities fair, so I'm doing an hour of comedy outside while people saunter what? around an activities fair. Always the best gigs. What um, uh, what time of day will this be? Uh, it's from I think it's from six to eight. Six to eight. Okay. So it'll still be sunny Are you out doing ish. Two hours. I'm doing one hour. Okay. I'm this, I'm on from seven to lot. eight, but the activities <laughs> fair is from six to eight. This yeah. is in Crete. Nebraska. Doan University is in Crete, Nebraska. I'm going to Doan, Nebraska. Are you? I don't know, <laughs> Alan. Why do you ask me any questions ever? All these Vaughn. gigs and you don't ask any questions. I, I don't understand how you're that I don't a ask questions. Doan University is in Crete, yeah, Nebraska. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Of course 1014 I am. Boswell Avenue, Crete, Nebraska. Yes. Mm-hmm. But I'm staying in Lincoln, which Lincoln? is a half hour away. <laughs> they didn't even... They couldn't put you up at the Crete Super 8? <laughs> well, no, because they have to provide transportation to the gig. So they're like, do you want to stay closer to campus or closer to the airport? And I was like, closer to the airport. Hey, I have to, go ahead, say sorry. hi to Pound Cake. He's back in Studio G. Afternoon, white people. So let me ask you this. Yes. This is a very small school. Yes. It's 1,200 students. Uh-huh. Okay. But there's a, like, a, you're part of a whole festivity that's going on. You're part of the entertainment of something that's a pre-existing thing. So you don't have to just rely on people who might be walking by. I think I do. The way it was described to me, this is an outdoor, like, welcome back to school activities fair. Right. So there's going to be, like... It's like, an or, it's like a orientation week or yeah, something. Yeah, so there'll be, like, tables for, like... Greek life and student organizations and like like different tables and booths and then they'll, there will also be an area where I will be talking to people. Huh. Passers by. I wonder if they have fraternity row at a school that small. I don't know. Because you should find out. Now I know that you've got a boyfriend. Hear me out. Oh God, here we go. So rather than going all the way back to Lincoln, where we do have bureau chiefs by the way, instead of going all the way back to Lincoln... You decide, oh, man, I'm having such a fun time here in Crete (laughs) that I'll just hang out here. With these 17 and 18-year-olds and their parents. (laughs) Now, listen to this. This is the... uh, No, parents. The parents drop them off, and the the kids go, get the hell out of here. Performance information, okay? Uh, Length, at least 50 minutes from 7 to 8 p.m. Additional notes. This is what made me laugh. MC for our student organization fair... Please attempt to engage the student leaders between sets of jokes. Oh, God. So even they were like, attempt your best. Student <laughs> leaders. That's probably not going to happen. Hey, there's Provost Jenkins. Yeah. How about that guy? <laughs> right? When it comes Provost to- <laughs> Jenkins! <laughs> when it comes to provosts, this guy is the tops. Give it up for him. He's out there. He's trying to make things happen for you. And boy, he's a hell of a... Provost. They do have a college radio station, KDNE, well, 91.9. You should go over there. You go, guys, I know how to do radio. Why don't you throw me on there? Let's do a little funny funny on the uh, on the radio. I'm not doing one minute more than my 50 minutes that is required of me. 50, oh, so it's not going, even an hour. It's going to be a very long 50 at, minutes. At least 50 minutes is what it says in yeah. the thing. So, yeah. They want, if you go an hour, they won't be mad, mm-hmm. but they can't dock her pay or something if, I have to do as long as she does 50 five zero minutes and 99 percent of the time I do between when you mention that don't university they do offer something called docker pay which is where they subsidize your khakis oh so just into that. look into that I know that's not really your vibe but I mean t- listen uh, thirty dollars is thirty dollars but and for people for the uninitiated by the way who don't understand why Mary does these things I've said this before from my own experiences uh, in stand-up 30 years ago 
colleges don't know how little comedians get paid. Correct. And colleges <laughs> have student affair budgets that they have to burn through. Mm -hmm. So you can be someone, I mean, I got paid a lot more money than I ever, ever deserved in my first year doing stand-up because they don't know how little you get. They don't know that when you're out there, sometimes you're getting paid in hamburgers mm -hmm. or food Drink or drinks. Tickets. That's yes. right. You're getting paid in beverage and exposure. food. Exposure. Right? Exposure. Well, no, I mean, back, back in the day, it wasn't really exposure because there's no place to expose you. There's no social media when I was right. doing it. But colleges were great because it's this beautiful confluence of they'll pay you a lot of money. They don't really care if the kids are paying attention, which early in your career, they are not. No. They I mean, care. first handful of gigs I did were at, like, Malcolm X University, George Washington Carver College. You know yes. what I mean? Like, Solid bookings. Well, but I would go where I could go. Yeah, no, I well, don't Well, that's exactly don't what it all. is. And people and say— they go, Will, they go, is $700 good for a half an hour? And I'd go, uh, yes. well, I mean, I usually—for you guys, I'll do that for you right. guys. Well, this thing is—because they are nightmare gigs. They are never fun. They, you are fighting for your life for 50 straight minutes. You do them for the money. And that's exactly what it is. Because I was explaining to my boyfriend, he's like, why do you keep doing these? I was like, because one of these gigs pays for my bills for the entire month. That's right. So when I, I have two this month, which is like a great bonus. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? See, so we pay Mary in hamburgers and drinks. And exposure. <laughs> <laughs> Mostly it's the exposure. last one. <laughs> yeah. So you do them solely for the money. That's it. Because I'm sure you hear this from from some of our customers. They go, why are you going to Nebraska? That's exactly why. I can't believe you're taking off it's the show to go to Nebraska money. for nine people. Where are your priorities? <laughs> priorities. priorities. Comma in the check. Yeah, that's, that's right. Where. Priorities are that uh, that gig pays as much as one month working here. One. That that's is not an exaggeration. No. It, probably way more than one month mm -hmm. working here. Yes. Allen the Lincoln Airport has four gates, so Mary won't get lost. There you go. <laughs> Perfect. I Which gate are you at? In Mary's One. ability huh? to still get lost somehow. <laughs> no, I'm good at traveling. I don't get oh, lost. Oh, do you get lost? No, no I'm just teasing. I'm oh. a great traveler if I'm not driving. You should, uh, maybe you can rub off on Pound Cake. You know, I think he's got a little bit more traveling in uh, this year than he has in years past. I know. He's, Look at um, me. You're a jet setter. I'm yeah. driving to Columbus on the freeway. I'm flying to Colorado. We had to change our house and our location, but other than that, recently you had to do that. Yeah, we were. You're not in a cabin in the woods anymore. No, so we're actually in like a neighborhood. We were in Florence, but because so many people, I'm only staying the weekend. I'm staying Friday, Saturday, and we go home Sunday or early Monday morning. So that's when our flight is. So we're gonna, we have to be closer to to Denver. So and a lot of people are doing that. So instead, there was a three night minimum on the Florence house. So now we move to Breckenridge, which very hoity uh, toity. Apparently, yeah. My Zach was like, goodness. "Oh, I like that so much better." Breckenridge, um, so, you're gonna fit right in. You're gonna be the black guy in Breckenridge. <laughs> yeah, he was like, "There's shopping, there's skiing, there's a lot of other stuff to do. Like, there's so many more Is activities." There's skiing. Out there. This, I mean, oh yeah, it's right it's in the Rocky the mountains. mountains. I know in the mountains, but I didn't know if they started this early in the year. They I do. Think they do. It might be all year round. Breckenridge is year round skiing. Wow. Yep. That's, that's and and cool. pound cake, as you know, uh, maybe a lot of people don't. Um, he uh, meddled in the slalom at the University of Akron, and people go, "How can that be? It's so flat there." Yeah. That's how good he is. The big old swalom of it. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly how good pound cake was at the University of Akron. Yeah. Pound cake. If you go to, if you go skiing, I want you to measure how many. Phantoms deep the snow is. Um, not gonna go skiing. Not gonna go snowboarding. <laughs> I'll probably go sledding. Maybe I'll be in there with all the kids. Sledding. What yeah, are you mean, there's no I'm hill not, to sled on. Sledding. There's plenty. What are you but talking about? Ski hills. They have tobogganing. And it's stuff. gonna be you and a bunch of rich people's kids. So, I took a big old swaller out of it, and I was like, uh oh. Snowboarding is expensive, and it's cold, and I don't. Oh, like I know. It. I pay for all my son's stuff. Yeah, no, I'm not doing yeah, that. Yeah, I know it's expensive. So, and so are the hospital bills. Hmm. Okay, listen. Mary's going to Nebraska tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Godspeed. Thank you. You know what that means. What? Just the guys in the hey. new studio yeah. tomorrow. Is this a, no. no. Is this the first sausage party? No, we did a sausage party last Thursday. Oh, yeah. It was yeah, you were out last week, kids, right? Second sausage party. Woo! Yeah. Woo! <laughs> All right, let me break here. If you want to send a text, 35192, allencockshow.com to watch everything else. And we'll be back. It's the Alan Cox.